In this short video we are going to discover how to make loaded models cast shadows. So as you can see we have our model ready and the render shadow map enabled. We also have the light casting shadow with some shadow configurations and the plane receiving shadows. I have actually explained all of this in my 3GS guide, I'll leave you the link to it in the description below. Having said that, to make the model cast shadow, you may be attempted to just set the cast shadow property to true and think that will do. But as you can see, that didn't work. And that's because our model is not made as a single unit, but it is actually composed of a set of meshes, each representing a part of the whole model. So here we have our fox composed of a set of objects, with some of them being the bones for animation purpose, and others being the meshes that together represent the body of the fox. That being said, to make the fox cast a complete shadow, we need each of its individual meshes to cast its own shadow. To do that, we'll call traverse, which is kind of similar to the higher order function for each. So this function takes another one as an argument, and within its body we need to check if the current object is a mesh or not. If it is indeed a mesh, then we'll set its cast shadow property to true, and that's it pretty much. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.